Hi there, so today we're going to be looking at how to install Kodi on a Raspberry Pi. Um, so this is a Raspberry Pi 2 um, and I'm going to install it on an SD card um, which will load into the Raspberry Pi and then connect it up to the TV. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to um, osmc.tv and we want to go to their download section. So what this does, this gives you a, a complete image um, for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's really simple, so you just load it on the SD card uh, and it's got its own installer. So we're going to download the installer and we're going to run it. <coughs> Okay, so I've got uh, an, a mini SD card or a micro SD card um, that uh, I've got installed ready to go. So before we do anything, what we want to do is we want to format that um, with the FAT32 file system. <clears throat> so that will erase everything off the, uh, off the SD card. Um, we've got our installer here, so we're going to select our language and we're going to select what we want to install it on. So in my instance, in this instance, I'm going to ins install it on a Raspberry Pi 2, but you can install it on an Apple TV, uh, a Pi 1, Pi 0 or a Pi 3 or any one of these, uh, these Vero players. So we're going to select a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3. <coughs> And this is the version of OSMC that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use the latest version. Um, I'm not going to do a local build on my computer. So this is then going to prompt us where we want to install it. So in my instance, um, you can install it on a USB stick, on a share, or internal storage if it's on a system directly connected. But as I said, I'm going to install it on an SD card. <clears throat> now I'm going to choose because I'm, I've got a, a long enough network cable to run from the uh, Pi box which is going to sit under the TV um, so I'm using a, uh, a wireless N dongle um, so I'm going to pick the wireless connection we're going to add our encryption so in my instance I'm using the following I think it's something like that. Let me just double check. <clears throat> Not far off. And the key. So this will build it directly into the um, into the image that goes and is run. So that's where I'm going to select it on. It's a two gig. Uh, 2 gig SD card um, but I recommend if you've got something a bit bigger than that like a 4 gig or an 8 gig then use that but it will run on a 2 gig and then it's going to download the software directly um, once it's downloaded it's going to install it so we'll let that run through that's downloaded then it'll extract it uh, and then it will prompt you for this, are you sure you want to install it? Yes we do. <clears throat> and then that will write the uh, the image to the SD card. Okay so that took around about uh, three or four minutes um, and that's it basically. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to the TV and we'll run through the setup on there. So on the setup you want to make sure for a first install that you connect um, a USB mouse and keyboard. Uh, once you've got everything fully set up then um, I'm just going to run through and show you um, in the store here what I purchased for mine was uh, a remote control so um, this makes it very easy to navigate around the, the interface it comes with its own dongle uh, and therefore you don't need to use your keyboard and mouse um, once you've got everything set up here we've got the um, 
the Raspberry Pi all connected up. We've got the HDMI going into the TV and the keyboard and mouse plugged in. Um, so next we're just going to connect the, uh, the power cable and then we'll start it up. So this is the first startup screen. Um, it's going to go off and uh, set the system up for us. OK, so that's installed. Next, we're going to move on to configuration. Now it just gives itself a reboot once it's installed. <coughs> OK, so before that, we've got to run through and set up. Time zone, we're in Europe. <clears throat> so, this is where you give it set your host name. I'm just going to leave it at that. Accept that. SSH is enabled so you can um, log directly on via the CLI. We're going to go through and accept the license and then I'm going to select the Kodi interface and I don't want the newsletter and that's it. So we can exit the setup. And now I'll then boot into our Kodi interface. <coughs> 